attempting to stave off the only thing that they care about, which is bad media reports, right? They're just trying to like keep you from seeing what they're doing. Well, they're going to now put the, uh, put the Haitian migrants in Guantanamo. Uh, AOC says utterly shameful. Susan Sarandon says Bush and Clinton already did this in the early nineties. And it was a disaster. 12,000 Haitians were held in Guantanamo, hundreds of whom were kept in an HIV prison camp because the U S borders were closed, uh, to those who were HIV positive. Okay. Well, thank you, Susan Sarandon for proving my point. Matt Zeller, what the fuck is wrong with the Biden administration? I'm sorry. I curse there. I'm just reading the tweet. Uh, what the F is wrong with the Biden administration. I apologize there. I don't know who's watching. And so I apologize. Uh, it's live. I'm just reading the tweets that my, uh, team sent me here. What the F is wrong with the Biden administration. This isn't the change I voted for. Ilhan Omar says this is embarrassingly bad decision. Do better. Again, sorry for the uh, adult word there. We try very hard to have a clean broadcast, but that is the uh, sentiment of the left right now. They are, oh, so upset. So very upset. Not what they voted for indeed. Yes, yes. Now the Biden administration is just spiraling. Just spiraling. They've lost their left flank. There, There is massive infighting right now happening. They can't even get their own infrastructure bills passed. The border is an absolute crisis. The Border Act of 1965, they have broken every law on the books. They will probably get clobbered in multiple Supreme Court cases coming up here. The docket is brutal for the Biden administration. And indeed, now they are trying to put migrants into Gitmo. The change you voted for, Libs. Enjoy, all right? Open change. Migrants to Gitmo. That's right. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You gotta, I mean. You gotta, it's like a Roadrunner cartoon. Okay. Libs are the coyote. We are the America first roadrunners and those libs, they buy the Acme box with the giant bomb in it and they, they paint the tunnel on the rock and the roadrunner runs right through it and they smash their own head. They try and throw the bomb at the roadrunner. It hits the cactus and it springboards right back at them. That's what's happening right now. These libs, you all, you libs, you voted for open borders. You voted for a senile old man. You voted for a bag of moldy old oatmeal. And now you get what you voted for. You voted for Kamala Harris, the least qualified, most incompetent, most cartoonish. I mean, she's like comical. It's comical. She's our borders are. She hasn't said a single thing about our border, but she ran out yesterday to promote a race hoax. She hasn't said a single thing about our border patrol, but she ran out yesterday to promote a racial hoax, a hoax similar to the Jesse Smollett hoax. Kamala Harris springs into action, right? She jumps out of the back cave. She's been in hiding. She springs out of the back cave when she finally has something that she has authority to talk on, which is racial hoaxes and the promotion of them and the defending of violent criminals which is exactly what Kamala Harris did. She defended the violent criminal illegal aliens, uh, uh, the Haitian illegal criminal border crossers, because the first act, their first act in this country is to behave criminally. She defends them, and then she attacks our police. Kamala Harris special. And then she sprinkles a little bit of race, race hatred hoax in there. Boom, you got a perfect Kamala Harris story for you. Boom, this, Kamala's like, I was built for this. I was made for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fun to just laugh at these people. I mean, you know, really. I mean, at some point, it's like, gotta laugh or you gotta cry. So let's laugh at them. Let's laugh at their clownish and the cartoonish failures. Now their own, their own left flank is freaking out on them. It doesn't mean good things for the country, but it does mean good things for our movement. People are becoming awake. They're being exposed to the cruelty and the incompetence 
of these people. Joe Biden has no public events on his schedule today. Jen Psaki is going to go out to her press conference today and get brutalized. It's going to be awesome. Um, I, uh, I just got to tell you guys, like, keep up the fight. Keep up your heart. Keep up your fight. There are reasons to be encouraged. I know that things look bad right now, but America has always come through the other side only because patriots stood up and said, no, we will not allow this country to sink into authoritarianism, despotism, dictatorship. We will not allow the evils of some of the worst run regimes in the world to enter our country and to rule us. So that's why patriots need to stand up. Run for school board, vote in your elections, vote for freedom, share these videos, subscribe to our podcast, please. Uh, it really does mean a lot. We are putting out extra fire and in-depth analysis every single day. Three stories you got to know and definitely one good story every single day. Three stories you got to know and one good story every single day on The Benny Show on our podcast. Um, we'll continue our lives. We love this. We love this audience. Keep up the fight. You patriots, keep us going. We'll be back later today bringing you all the... <laughs> <laughs> all, all of the beautiful inviting. It's time to pop a popcorn, right? Sit back, pop popcorn. Ilhan Omar and AOC are going after Biden and Kamala Harris for their open borders and sending immigrants to Gitmo. Popping it. Pop it up. Pop the popcorn. Time to go, people. All right. Thank you all so much. Love you. We'll see you later today. <laughs>